Why is Lex Friedman important? Why is George Orwell in 1984 so important today? Well, you're gonna find out. Right, so you have Lex Friedman who's known for being really kind and really sweet even to people who are not so nice to him. Uh, posted his reading list for 2023 talking about how he's gonna read a book every week. And people took this all sorts of different ways and ran with it from, oh, there's no way he can read a book every week to, oh, he hasn't read these books before, how dumb is he? When in a lot of instances, this is a reread for him or it's just a perusing over something he's already read before. It doesn't matter. And if you can read a book in a week, it might not be the most in-depth, but it was read. It was, it's just something he's doing to challenge himself, right? And you can't fault someone for that. But the real issue to me is that there's a lot of Christians out there that won't take upon the same challenge to even read one book of the Bible every week. When there's a lot of books in the Bible that could be read in one sitting. So when we tell you guys to stay in the word, it's not just something we throw across lightly. It's something that's very important and it's not impossible to do. So if you're a Christian out there, or you're, you're a follower of Christ, or what, whatever way you want to describe yourself, why don't you try putting out a reading list for scripture this year? Look, you guys, that's why we need to participate in the conversation of what's going on and be active and not tearing each other down, but just speaking truth. Because this is a time of a lot of struggle and a lot of pain and a lot of tumultuous times, right? And like it says in scripture, the harvest will be great, but the laborers will be few. And there's a lot of people that are ready to receive the word. That's why it's so important to stay armored up and ready for any spiritual battle that may come forth and present itself before you. If you want to thank you guys and have a blessed day.